Hello, welcome back again. Our next speaker is Leo van der Woestijn. He will, he will be talking about what he would like to see in catalog zones. But this talk is aimed at DNS developers. The floor is yours. You have 15 minutes. Hello, uh, welcome, and thanks for being here. Uh, this is my first presentation ever, so I'm nervous, so I'll try to calm down. If I'm talking too fast, then <laughs> let me know. Uh, also, I think it will be a short presentation after Andre is... Uh, <laughs> and the other complicated uh, uh, presentations. Um, well, my name is Leo van Oosteine. Uh, I'm a DNS uh, uh, operator. I uh, <coughs> operate a large anycast for the second largest uh, uh, um, uh, registry. Um, and besides that, uh, we have other name servers that do a lot of uh, domain names, uh, a, a couple of million. And we tried to maintain those. Uh, and I came across catalog zones, which I found very interesting, uh, but uh, was, wasn't uh, that scalable yet. But uh, still, the concept I found interesting. Um, it is. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you can put it in, in the back. Might have been my fault. <laughs> you can put it in the back. Try again. Okay. Uh, so, so there's uh, not much new. Um, <laughs> Shall I put them in the back? Yeah, maybe that's better. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> okay. so. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, so it's, it's already a, a working concept. Uh, um, and uh, another warning is that the presentation was uh, prepared uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, and I have code examples that have tiny fonts. So if you want to see the codes, then maybe open already the, the, the slides on your laptop so you can read it because maybe you cannot read it here. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, um, I, as I said, I run an Anycast and uh, of course I need to uh, uh, generate configurations. So uh, I run uh, like seven uh, top level domain names uh, on, on, on uh, many locations and I run them all in separate daemons. So I ended up with hundreds of daemons. Uh, so the, 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 the way to configure this, uh, uh, the usual way, I think, is to use uh, Python, Jinja, and, and uh, YAML, uh, and then syn synchronize that configuration, and then you have to uh, reload uh, that configuration to, to, yeah, to be loaded. Um, yeah, uh, that needs uh, a provisioning, uh, a place where you provision, uh, where you where you start your provisioning uh, to those uh, demons uh, over out of band. And uh, yeah, um, so that's, that's I think, an, a common uh, setup. Uh, uh, catalog zones uh, um, contain the information that's uh, like variable in your configuration. So basically the list of zones that you need to be loaded, uh, need, you ha need to have loaded in your uh, daemon. Uh, the configuration of the daemon is not so addressed, but uh, the catalog zone is. So this is an, uh, an, uh, a code example that uh, is, uh, is uh, working. Um, uh, yeah, what, what can I tell about it? Uh, yeah, yeah, simply, um, you load, have it in the master, and your, your secondaries uh, will uh, uh, load this. And then the PTRs, uh, on the right side, you see the domain names that need to be loaded. And um, on the, uh, when you do a DDNS call on your master, the PTR record will be added or be removed. And then all your secondaries will uh, load that zone or delete that zone. Um, yeah. So uh, that this uh, yeah, is simply working. I, I did that. It's fine. So, uh, but what I did is extending it a bit. Uh, because uh, not uh, at the moment only bind supports uh, catalog zones, and you want to have uh, you want to use this concept also in other demons. So, uh, with uh, the additional section on the bottom, I can iterate over uh, the zone. Oh wait, uh, I'm already at the next slide. So uh, at the bottom here, you see uh, additional config that you can uh, put in there, like your masters, like uh, where to. Um, uh, allow notifies from, uh, or allow transfer, uh, transfer from, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, the main important thing is the, the, the stuff on the, on the top. So the, 
Here is the, the, the stuff that I added. It's simply a, a Zona MD record, which uh, I use for the integrity of the data. And um, it's a new record. I think it's still, yeah, it's still a draft. And uh, you see the number 240 in there, uh, in that line. Um, that is uh, a field for, uh, that uh, is reserved for uh, private use. So you can use it for uh, um, make, putting hashes of parts of your, uh, uh, of your records and, and even just a part of the value of, uh, of a resource uh, record. Uh, that's, that's all up to you. And um, I use it to generate a, a list of domain names uh, that I can compare in, in other daemons if they're, if they're present or not and then run commands, uh, the, 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 the vendor-specific commands, to do your uh, mutations. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the benefit is that you don't need to reconfigure it. It's, it goes uh, automatically by, by um, uh, the, 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 how do you say, uh, when, when the catalog shown is being refreshed. So, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't involve uh, that much work anymore. Um, well, uh, you don't need uh, vendor-specific uh, commands for uh, maintaining uh, it. Um, well, actually, that's more like a future uh, uh, thing because right now it's not that uh, supported yet. Uh, and you don't need uh, additional support, uh, which uh, yeah, usually use rsync or SCP or whatever you use uh, to, to have your configuration uh, proficient. Uh, and for that, you also don't need uh, the user. Um, Plus, uh, yeah, let's say you are a DNS, uh, um, uh, how do you say, um, you, you, you serve DNS for uh, multiple registries, then you can have a catalog zone for each of your customer, and they can maintain that catalog zone, uh, at, and then your secondaries will add and delete uh, domain names that in, in, those, uh, in those demons. Um, yeah, and it simplifies uh, a lot. Uh, uh, I did a little bit of uh, abuse of uh, the RR type uh, in the beginning to, to come to these results. In initially, I wanted to use the NXT record, which is uh, yeah, uh, obsolete. Uh, the yeah, it's the next record. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, then I tried the 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 the, and the what is it? The zona status uh, record. Uh, which is uh, assigned by, uh, by ICANN, but uh, it does not have a, a real RFC, only a, it only had a draft, and therefore it's not uh, supported in, uh, in DNS Python, nor in NOT, uh, and not, not in NSD, so the record does not uh, exist uh, in there. Um, but uh, while I was uh, experimenting, then uh, at the same time, uh, Cloudflare made uh, the info record uh, unobsoleted, and that's the, then the record that I uh, yeah, kind of abuse uh, for this. So I uh, uh, still have a wish list uh, of, uh, that, that um, uh, I would like to have added in the, in the expired draft for uh, catalog zones, uh, which is uh, yeah, uh, do, uh, uh, define your masters with the SRV record. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I have to read from my slide. Uh, Yeah, and do your 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 masters a bit different. Uh, well, the code uh, example uh, speak uh, speaks uh, for itself. So yeah, to to have this uh, a standard, then I think uh, uh, additional work needs to be done. Um, uh, so I think uh, we I have to convince uh, vendors of uh, authoritative software to to use this. Uh, but yeah, first it needs to be a standard. Um, but and uh, I don't know how much enthusiasm shasm there is for, uh, for it. Um, yeah, so uh, in Bind it's supported and uh, in the others it's not, so for the ones that it's not supported, I now use, have to uh, use uh, additional software and that uh, I don't uh, like so much, of course. So um, I will I'll, um, put uh, code examples on uh, my, uh, my website, which is dns.company uh, slash catso. Uh, that uh, there's at the moment not uh, not that much yet, but uh, I will soon uh, put uh, more stuff there. 
Uh, this is a list of references uh, uh, which contain all the, the white papers and uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, I think, yeah, uh, you have to read it uh, later on if you're interested. Um, and that's the last slide. Questions? <laughs> Thank you, Leo. <laughs> oh, ha. <laughs> This is Andre ISC. So uh, th thank you, Leo, and th thank you for being brave to doing your first presentation here. Um, so uh, with the Catholic Zone, the situation is a little bit complicated because there's a draft lying in ITF which nobody has the time to finish yeah. for the Catholic Zones too. So if you, want it, if you want to be co-author of the draft, it would be great because it needs more work. And then... <laughs> yeah. Then... Our implementation in Bayer needs to be updated to, to match the new, new draft. We also have some uh, other ideas what could be put into Catholic zones, and, uh, but still, um, well, we had some plan and then the OH came and we just need, had to like, yeah. re replan the uh, thing. So, yeah. so DOH is the new kid on the block that's blocking all the <laughs> consuming all the <laughs> yeah. uh, well, not not all of it, but yeah. but it it consumes some of the time which we had to reserve for the Catholic zones, um, and then we need to synchronize with like these folks that those folks and the CZNIC who who isn't here, but I don't know if even if they are going to implement uh, Catholic zones yet. Uh, but yes, any help that anybody using Catholic zones can give us the DNS developers in terms of specification or even like testing it or even patches are always welcome. So, so if you are a DNS developer and, and care about Catholic zones and can you, can you help with the bind code or NSD code or power DNS code, we all would like to accept patches from, from, from anybody. A good patches. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, that's nice to hear. <laughs> this is Willem of Nelnet Labs who says yeah. he would like to help with that as well. Yeah. Well, as it's question time, uh, I can also ask uh, you a question. Did anyone uh, try it uh, in the audience? Catalog zones in yeah. general? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not that much. But yeah, maybe if people understand uh, the benefits of it, then uh, yeah. And, uh, uh, speaking uh, from PowerDNS, the problem we see is that we know everybody wants this, mm -hmm. but none of the people that want this are our paying customers. Yeah. There, there's no overlap there, yeah. which means we're not going to pull that card, yeah, which but, means you. Yeah. I think, uh, like, in power, if, <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, in my code example, if you look in my code example, uh, it's here. So you see on the right uh, a, a number, an ID for the domain name. Yeah. And that's actually the power DNS domain ID. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and so, the, the you, so you said you were doing an external implementation. The current PowerDNS experimental Im implementation is also external. Yeah. It talks to the API. But I, st I still, I, I, uh, in, in, in 1999, I used uh, PowerDNS, I think. Yeah. And then I still have this, this database. The naming is still the same. Right. Uh, yeah. And uh, okay. And the other field that you see there left to the ID is the, is the SOA. So there, then uh, you can use it to look up in your local uh, uh, authoritative if you're in sync with the master. Yeah. All right, any other questions for Leo or from Leo? Okay, thank you okay. again. Thank you. Bye. We'll be back in five minutes with a final speaker.